Hello there internet and welcome back to another Remnant from the Ashes video where today I'm going to share with you a, a small piece of software that I think will answer a lot of people's problems. I've been using it for, for quite some time. There have been various versions of this going around since not too long after the game's launch. There was a web-based one but this is a an actual little piece of software by Razmataz which you can download onto your computer and what it will do is it'll clue you in as to what is going to come up in the next world that you load for example if i hit the stone warm go to world settings go to adventure and create a brand new adventure let's go on earth just gonna go on normal for now select I've got no idea what is going to be in this particular version of Earth. I'm going to load in. I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know what the dungeons are going to be. I don't know what potential loot there's going to be. I don't know what the end boss is going to be. The only way I can find out this is it, this is, it is by playing through the game. And that's fine unless you're after something specific that you don't have because if you're doing that then it could be very time consuming and very very frustrating when you are running around these worlds and you've got no idea what you're going to get you might not get it you might not get it for two three four ten twenty re-rolls and for some people that's fine that's part of the fun of the game and the randomness of it for other people it's not so the remnant save analyzer that Rasmataz has put together based on various bits and pieces is a little window and i will show you what it looks like the game audio is going to cut out here you're going to load it up and it's going to look like that and you'll notice that it backs up the saves for you so you can set it to to back up your saves which is very very useful indeed and it's got various other settings as well you know where where you want to save your folders and so on and so forth i'm not going to show you all of that because there's probably some personal details that i don't want to show you somewhere uh you can choose which saves you want to keep and which ones uh, you want active but that that's not the the interesting thing the interesting thing is this thing up here in the corner and if you click on that, get rid of this. That window hasn't closed, it's still open. But this window has also opened. And this shows you a lot of stuff. And it's very, very useful indeed. So first of all, it shows you the campaign. It shows you everything that has rolled in your campaign. It tells you all of the dungeons that you've got all the way through. It tells you the name of any important things like items or NPCs or events. And it also shows you anything that you've missed. For example, I currently don't have the pocket watch because I actually traded it to Bravus not too long ago. Uh, it also shows you any emotes and so on and so forth that you don't have. For example, I haven't been and defeated the Dreamer since I... Uh, since they added the emotes. That's how long it's been since I actually bothered to go and do that. That's all well and good if you like playing the campaign. It also shows you any missing items that you've got. And as you can see, I've, I've got loads of them. Pretty much all of these are from either emotes for things that I haven't been and done yet or multiplayer or co-op traits. A lot of these trinkets I, I haven't unlocked either. Some of them, at the time I'm recording this, we don't even know where they come from. We just know that they exist. But this tab here is, is the useful thing. And I'm going to show you how this works. This is what is in the earth that I've just rolled. And you'll see, I'm going to hit the checkpoint here. Let's shrink that down a little bit if i hit world settings create new adventure let's go to rom this time create new adventure any progress will be locked select 
Hasn't changed yet, but if we hit travel and actually go to the wasteland, you'll see that straight away, because the game saves when you when you teleport, you'll see straight away what is going to come up in that place. And you might be thinking, well, there's nothing that I've missed. There's no things that I'm missing there. So you just go back to Ward 13. It takes a little bit of time. It's not a it's not a fast thing, this, but it's certainly faster than going through all of the zone looking for the item that you are actually after. Go back to the stone. Go back to world settings. Create new adventure again. Let's let's go for another ROM one since it's right there at the start. Select, travel, wasteland. And there you go. So you can see straight away. But the world has changed there's something different and that there are things that i've missed in this particular one and you can do that for any thing in adventure mode yes yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm missing out on the laugh emote there so that is a very quick look at the active save world analyzer by Rasmataz. There's some credits here so that you know who made it and who is responsible for it. Top, top bloke. Very active, I believe, on the Remnant from the Ashes Discord. Uh, to the best of my awareness, the devs over at Gunfire Games haven't really said anything about this. And it's been posted in their Discord multiple times. They've not said anything about it. But... As with all kind of mods, realistically, you want to use at your own risk. All it does is read the save file and it backs up your save files uh, if you set it to do that, which ever since release, Remnant has had uh, a bit of an issue at times with save files going corrupt. So having those backups might be something that you're interested in, even if you're not particularly interested in the actual world analyzer bit of it you can set it so that you can put that back on you can set it so that you you know back up every x number of minutes how many backups you want to keep where you're going to keep them and so on and so forth very very straightforward very very useful highly highly recommended if you are a person who you know doesn't have a huge amount of time and, and just wants to unlock all the things and so on and so forth. Hopefully, you found that educational. I'll post a link down to you know where the the editor is. The editor, the analyzer is. It's not an editor. You can't edit your save files with it. Uh, down in the description below. It's on GitHub and I'll, I'll post a link up on the, uh, the screen as well for you to go and find it. As I said, all credit to Raz for this rather excellent time-saving tool and backup tool. Go drop him some love down in the Discord and or on GitHub. I don't know how GitHub works. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Until then, cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.